Nigel Farage has issued Boris Johnson a stern warning about his cabinet as he told the Prime Minister to sack a few people. Nigel Farage has insisted Boris Johnson needs the public to think he is surrounded by people who know what they're doing. The former Brexit party leader hit out at the Prime Minister for blaming civil servants and suggested some of his cabinet should be replaced with backbenchers. He went on to claim that Mr Johnson's cabinet is full of people who will do what they are told. Speaking to Jonathan Saxty on Brexit Watch, Mr Farage said, I feel that Boris Johnson, Dominic Cummings and Michael Gove have done is to fill the cabinet up with lightweights. To fill the cabinet up with people that will not pose them with any difficulties and will more or less do what they're told. I think they need to sack a few people, not just blame the civil service for everything. Sack a few people because there are actually some wiser heads of the backbenchers of people who have not just had experience in politics but experience in the real world as well. I do think Boris needs quite quickly to make us think that he's surrounded by people who know what they're doing. His comments come as the Prime Minister is facing mounting pressure from MPs to drop measures in the UK internal market bill which grants ministers the power to override provisions in the Brexit withdrawal agreement relating to Northern Ireland. Amal Clooney is the latest to quit as Britain's special envoy on media freedom in protest at the government's lamentable decision which risks overriding the Brexit divorce settlement and breaching international law. In a letter to Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab, the prominent human rights lawyer said she had no alternative but to resign after he made clear the government would change its position. Although the government has suggested that the violation of international law would be specific and limited, it is lamentable for the UK to be speaking of its intention to violate an international treaty signed by the Prime Minister less than a year ago, she wrote. Out of respect for the professional working relationship I have developed with you and your senior colleagues working on human rights, I deferred writing this letter until I had had a chance to discuss this matter with you directly, but having now done so and received no assurance that any change of position is imminent, I have no alternative but to resign from my position. Ms Clooney, a British Lebanese barrister, was originally appointed to the role of special envoy by the then Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt in 2019. In her letter to Mr. Raab, she said she was disappointed to have to give up the position having always been proud of the UK's reputation as a champion of the international legal order and of the culture of fair play. However, very sadly, it has now become untenable for me, as special envoy, to urge other states to respect and enforce international obligations while the UK declares that it does not intend to do so itself. She said, her decision to quit follows the resignations of two other senior lawyers, the Advocate General for Scotland, Lord Key Novelli, and the head of the government legal department Sir Jonathan Jones.